welcome back to Afternoon Express. And if you're in the mood for a movie, watch this. The movie Three Days to Go is the directorial debut of award-winning producer Bianca Isaac. It serves a slice of life with a storyline applicable to any culture and race, with funny moments and deeply touching ones that will open in cinemas nationwide on the 25th of January, 2019. Watch this. <laughs> Who's dead? Dad. <laughs> That'd be the day. He died a few hours ago. What? How did that happen? His heart stopped. No, no, that, that's impossible. No, apparently that can happen. No one is touching his books, his clothes, or anything that belonged to him. Okay. So you just want to keep his stuff around like he's still alive? My parents kept it together. And they actually had a happy marriage. I can't say the same for Ricky or Amy or Melissa. Claire's staying with the house. First she takes my husband and now my house. This is what we want. No, Roy, it's what you want. What about what I want? You think you're the only person that hates your life? If we hate our lives so much, then why do we stay together? Maybe that's why you're scared to marry me. What? Yeah, they're scared we'll end up just like them. I'm not like them, I and you are definitely not like their partners. Jan, we're going to be leaving just now. You know we're supposed to have left early this morning, and look at the time now. Oh, great, he sounds truthful. Tell me something I don't know. Ricky, Ricky, babes, thank God it's you. Are you two babes? Where's my money? I mean, I don't have it with me right now. Let's try this again. Where's my money? If anyone can handle this family, it's you. Janet, you need to stop thinking about yourself for a minute, and we need to start thinking as a unit, as a family. Oh, my God. You're not even joking. Oh, lady, shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. What? Why are you talking to my mother? Why? Why? Hey, hey, boys. Why are you listening to Ricky? He's drunk. You're drunk. You're drunk. What's going on? Three days, right? How bad can it be? What makes you think you know the Bhagavad Gita better than I do, huh? No, I'm just saying. You're just saying our yearly calendar is incorrect, and that you are going to rewrite the whole Bhagavad Gita like you write one of your children's books. Is that what you're saying? No. Is that what you're saying? No, it's correct. Oh, you know it's going to be a good movie when you laugh and cry just in the trailer. <laughs> welcome to the show, Bianca Kajal. Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Thanks, Jeannie. Thank you for having us. So happy to have you here. Firstly, congratulations to both of you. This mm -hmm. is, good, is outstanding. Thank and congratulations you. to you. It's your directorial debut. Yes. Taking off your producer cap. <laughs> I mean, what was it like? I mean, the outstanding job. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you never really know until... We hear it from everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how difficult is it to to kind of focus on one thing when I mean because I, I know being on set, I like to uh, do everything myself. Yeah. But kind of taking off your producer hat, putting on your director hat, what are the things that you need to focus on? You know, in the beginning, I felt a bit useless because oh. as a producer, you're like, okay, these are the 500 things that I have to do all at one time. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you're directing, you're like, okay, this is the only thing I'm doing. But what was so nice for us is that the, this was an ensemble piece. And so to be able to give each actor the same amount of energy and the yeah. same amount of time and the same amount of love yeah. uh, ended up taking up all my time. Yeah. And, and, and so the experience is equally beautiful, but in, in a different way. So exactly. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. And now you did co-produce the film. I did. Thank you. What Thanks. goes into producing a film of this magnitude? You know, this working behind the scenes on this film was my was the first time I did. Yeah. Um, so I'm the casting director on it as well, and yeah. and I Poor I have been doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and Bianca, when we met, she said, "I want you to cast this film." And I've done casting before, but this is my first film doing it on my own. Yeah. And wow. then I got involved behind the scenes, and then she said, I think you should co-produce it, because I've been wanting to get yeah. into production, and who better to learn from than, you know, uh, <laughs> an expert, of course. Uh -huh. So, and I'm in the film, so wearing so many, you know, hats. You're like um, a little Kevin Costner. I am <laughs> 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 very <laughs> <laughs> a little one. Um, but it's really opened up my eyes to so much more. I've learned so much. And I think by being behind the camera, I've learned about, 
you know, what I want to be like as an actor in front of the camera yeah. as well, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, yeah. you know. Um, it's been a, an amazing learning curve for me. Yeah. Now, the cast is unbelievable. I mean, mm. high five. Yeah. <laughs> Does Jonathan take his shirt off at any point? <laughs> well, well, we've had this discussion. <laughs> He's wonderful. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the cast and why you chose each, each actor to play each cast member. Yeah. Um, so I had this film that I was I was making and I had a couple of actors in mind so the first thing I did is um, I met Leander really funnily it was a she tells a story better than me though <laughs> we were both at the Safters and it was a big night both of us had won awards and we met backstage and I'm like dude I'm writing a movie can I write it for you and yeah. she's like yeah you can do that so um, I started building from there what this family was gonna look like so that I wrote for those actors in mind um, I was fortunate enough to get everybody that I wanted, yeah. and I had a few surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Although she did have to audition, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like everybody. And then the biggest surprise, so I got everybody I wanted, so that's like a dream come true. And the biggest surprise was I couldn't find a mom. Yeah. And we had been sitting and talking about who's going to be this mom, who's going to be this mom. And we both grew up around watching Lilette Dubé on screen mm. from Monsoon Wedding and the Best Marigold Hotel. And she said, you know what, let's just try. What's the worst thing that could happen? They never get back to us. Amazing. And then a week later, they got back to us. And she was on board. And then she was here. And then we shot the movie. Y you Amazing. know, to, when we contacted Lilette's manager, yeah. uh, we had no expectations. And I, and I said to Bianco, she is huge, you know. She does Hollywood and she does Bollywood. Mm, yeah. um, let's have no expectations. No, and, and, and she and, does Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, apparently, I mean, the newspaper called it Dollywood, you know, because yeah, yeah. it's shot in Durban. Oh, Dollywood so. today. Oh. Durban, or Durban's version. Oh, okay. okay. yeah. love it. Dollywood. We're owning yeah. Dollywood today. Yes. It's got a good ring to it. Definitely. And, and we expected her not to respond, or her manager. And then she wanted to see the script. We said, okay, that's great. And then she read the script, and within a week, she they called us and said, "Yes, I want to do it." And she loves South Africa. Yeah, she absolutely oh, loves. So, does yeah, it. she it's absolutely really loves nice. it. I mean, she's waiting to come back and shoot she another was here film. Last week. Yeah. Amazing. When so, she like Durban was on fire, she was here. She was such a trooper. And then she's like, "Sorry, guys, I gotta go. I have like five movies and a thing and a thing." I'm like. Well, oh, that's wonderful. Now, I want to know about the film and what it was like to write it and, and why you wanted to write it in particular. I mean, because it deals with so many different themes and it's, I mean, it's sad, it's funny. How do you write a film like this? Um, so I, I realise I'm not really a great storyteller when it comes to a, a singular hero. Yeah. Um, that's not my strong point. So if ever I do a film like that, please let me know. <laughs> if anyone <laughs> said <laughs> But nowadays, nobody needs a singular hero. Yes, <laughs> we need many heroes yeah. in our life. And I wanted to portray uh, four women that were going through various issues in their lives, mm. uh, as well as men. Yeah. You know, when you, tell the, when you put the brother in and, and friends and partners, I wanted to show that that is normal. That is life. Yeah. You wake up every day and you experience this. And... Um, Every, when you watch the film, you can say, okay, I've experienced that. I know somebody yeah. who has, my brother, my sister. It is so relatable. Sister. It is relatable. Yeah. So I'm like, let's do that. Let's make a family film because everybody in the world can relate to that. Yeah. And as much as it's an Indian cast, uh, when you watch the film, you actually forget about that mm. because you're, you, you think to yourself, this is my family right here. Yeah, yeah. So it, uh, it, that doesn't really matter. Yeah. And... Uh, we started putting... T it, it was much better to do a funeral than it was to do a wedding. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, when do we gather <laughs> weddings, okay. funerals, oh, yes. uh, baptisms, Parties. and so everything else is a little bit happy. So yeah. let's choose a wedding where everyone's really depro, but are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's about pulling at the heart, you know, the strings yeah, of the heart. Exactly. And um, I think losing anyone in your family, be it a parent, a grandparent, and, yeah. and we all can relate to yeah. that um, and mm. we all can see that either sibling or someone we know that's a, a drunk or a gambler or acting as if her life is perfect meanwhile it's it's like falling down you know behind the scenes so yeah. no doubt when you watch it you will either see yourself who yeah. knows or someone you know yeah and it looks like there's so many plot twists like Tumi oh, Murake yeah. who's just <laughs> outstanding she I mean is. she's amazing she is I mean to me I, I, I remember <laughs> we were having quite a giggle last night and she's like you know now I kind of get it 
And I said to her, own it and be sexy, yeah. okay? Yeah. Can you be like a badass sexy? Yeah. So that we want to be scared of you, but we also want to love you. And if I ever yeah. wanted a bad guy, could you be the bad guy? Yeah. That comes with you? <laughs> <laughs> and she really, she killed it. She, she did yeah. fantastic. She's the perfect bad guy. Um, I think it's got a good balance. So what yeah. the film does is that it starts off, it's got a fine balance of humor while we introduce this world that we're living in. And, and um, as it goes through, it changes into this dramatic tone. Yeah. Um, and once it does that, you're pulling on the heartstrings of the family. Yeah. And by then, you're, you're rooted in the story. And just when you think, okay, I get it now, the characters themselves take a turn. Yeah. And so it pulls you a bit deeper into it. And then there's like, there's bits of sarcasm. So I think people burst out laughing because of that. Yeah. And then there's strengths. It's, you know, where the characters have to look deep, dig deep down inside. And, yeah. And, we're going to laugh, we're going to cry, but we're going to love it. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. And of course, supporting the movie business in South Africa is paramount. So you've got to watch the film mm -hmm. and you have to watch the film within the first two weeks yes. of it being released so that it can go overseas and it this can make the money so that yes. we can have more local films. <laughs> okay, please go watch it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so it's much really, really for you. You. After the break, poet Venderboy, who is also an actor on popular SABC2, Sophie Movango, joins us and performs in the loft. You do not want to miss that. We'll be right back.